हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग द फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन द लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द कोर्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द सेवेंथ सेमेस्टर गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई एम मिस पूर्ति सावर्डेकर द फैकल्टी इंचार्ज फॉर दिस कोर्स हाउ डू वी लिव एज चिल्ड्रन मोर ऑफन देन नॉट we are told that this is the right thing to do this is the wrong thing to do if you do this this will happen if you do that that will happen it is almost as if everything works according to rules you follow the rules you'll get what you are told you will get it is as if like it's a system if these inputs are given to the system these will be the outputs it's like as if there is a formula for your being in the world you give the world the inputs and you will get the outputs and that's true when your world your world is just a bubble around you your parents family members friends school teachers school friends that's your bubble until you reach an age that you are not told about the bubble breaks and you have a whole new world that you didn't expect to be out there the rules the rules the rules don't match anymore your formula doesn't work anymore it's like there are new rules like as if now the whole world works as if it's a new model there are more inputs more number of variables more complex functionalities and just as you are trying to fit into this model you realize that this too was a bubble a larger bubble a more complicated bubble but a bubble nonetheless you see a different side of the world again and again and again you cannot be precise you cannot predict you cannot be certain life is filled with uncertainty it is filled with complexity the systems that exist in this real world are complex they are uncertain these cannot run on pre- precise decisions and if we as engineers are to provide solutions to such problems we cannot ignore the complexity and uncertainty we have to consider it in trying to model the problems that's the domain of soft computing soft computing what is soft computing evolution has taught the human kind to adapt to new situations new conditions to learn to survive we take inspiration from this human quality and try to incorporate it in computing so now computing isn't just about input applying a function to this input and generating the output computing needs to involve learning and adapting even in uncertainty the man who thought that the only way to think outside the box was to throw away the boxes themselves was lot fees a day by abandoning the rigid ideas of true or false he redefined how we think about logic despite fears opposition along the way he came to be known as the father of fuzzy logic as his family moved from soviet union to iran he was mistakenly admitted to the 8th standard directly from 3rd standard i have put a link to the video about him in the description watch it it's quite inspiring he was a mathematician a computer scientist an electrical engineer artificial intelligence researcher and a professor emeritus of computer science at the university of california berkeley in 1992 he said that soft computing is an emerging approach to computing which 
parallels the remarkable ability of the human mind to reason and learn in an environment of uncertainty and imprecision human brain is the inspiration we want to make the machines do what the human brain can do but how in 1994 he said that the guiding principle of soft computing is to exploit the tolerance for imprecision and uncertainty to achieve tractability robustness and low solution cost too many big words no no he spoke about tolerance for uncertainty tolerance for uncertainty the possibility that good solution might exist not the best but very good solution when the conditions become uncertain like for example these online classes conditions are not predictable but we are all hoping for a good out- outcome not the best but a very good outcome by having a new system in place but how can we make sure that this system is good it needs to be tractable tractable meaning easy to control tractable easy to control it needs to be robust meaning strong that cannot be broken easily strong and it needs to have low solution cost cost not just in terms of money but in terms of computational requirements time space complexity wise i hope you remember our solution our solution to the pandemic problem was to have online classes using google classroom it is easy to control tractable it is very secure robust we only had to install g suite to be used in the institute and make small videos to have less data consumption low solution cost we are expecting that the final student outcome may not be optimum but very very good because you all and us we can adapt we can tolerate the imprecision and uncertainty so zade said that the guiding principle of soft computing is to exploit the tolerance for imprecision and uncertainty to achieve tractability robustness and low solution cost another computer scientist nikola kasabov advocated for optimization for soft computing in 1998 he said that optimization is about finding optimal values for parameters of an object or a system which minimizes the objective cost function <laughs> big words no no optimizing is just having a system that will give the best possible outcome with least cost you try to find those design parameters in the system that will give you least cost yet very good outcome that is optimization soft computing therefore means computation with soft conditions that is computing in which errors are undesirable errors are undesirable but acceptable to a certain degree it sacrifices the preciseness of the solution but is able to solve problems that were impossible to solve using traditional methods at this point i'd request you to watch the video that i've put in the description watch this current video from the beginning to this point all over again if you want you may watch some more videos if you are curious and write down in your notebooks what your idea is about soft computing also find out the difference between soft computing and hard computing let us discuss this in the live session see you then thank you